In today's episode, we travel to Olongapo City in search of a young and beautiful sexy actress from the movies in the early 1980s. Come, join us to remember, celebrate the life, and visit the final resting place of Pepsi Paloma here at Olongapo Memorial Park in the province of Zambales. Olongapo Memorial Park is 4 kilometers northeast of Olongapo City or about 140 kilometers from Enlex Balintawak Toll Gate. Located at the eastern corner of the park at the garden area, we found the marker where the remains of Pepsi Paloma is interred. Pepsi Paloma was born Delia Duenas Smith on July 17, 1966. She is best remembered for her daring roles in the early 1980s bold movies and one of the soft drinks beauties managed by late talent manager Ray De La Cruz together with Coca Nicolas and Sarsi Emanuel. Paloma was discovered in 1980 by De La Cruz when she was just 14 and was casted and made her film debut in the movie Brown Emanuel released in 1982 with Mirna Castillo and Hill Guerrero. Paloma had nine film credits from her short four-year movie career from 1982 to 1985. Her other film appearances were 1982 The Victim with Dick Israel and Hill Guerrero, 1982 Cruz Sabawat Low with Roy Rustan, 1983, Suicide Mama with Dante Rivero, Joel Alana, and Roy Rustan. 1984, Naked Island with Alton Tai and Charito Solis. Naked Island. 1984, Virgin People with Ernie Garcia, Janet Pordon, and Mirna Castillo. Palang araw daw. Mayroong malaking baboy na mong gagala dito sa gubat. Gusto kong hulihin ang baboy na mong yun. Ang mga tao siya. Tipitin, tipitin. Nineteen eighty four Matukso Kayang Angel with Eddie Garcia. Nineteen eighty four Snake Sisters with Ernie Garcia. And her last film appearance in nineteen eighty five movie Room Sixty Nine with Sarsi Emanuel. In nineteen eighty two Paloma was involved in highly publicized scandal of rape allegation against Big Soto, Joey De Leon and Richie De Horsey. Future Senator Tito Soto soon became involved in alleged intimidation for Paloma to drop the case and sign affidavit of desistance. Although the three suspects, Big Soto, Joey De Leon, and Richie De Horsey, have initially denied the accusation, they later issued a public apology on their knees on live television. In the afternoon of May 31, 1985, Paloma's body was found dead in her Santa Mesa Heights apartment in an apparent suicide by hanging. She was just 18.
in the next episodes, we will post the video of our recent visit of Manila North Cemetery and Santuario de San Antonio. Later in this channel, we will post more grave tour videos including Himlayang Pilipino in Quezon City and Libingan ng mga bayani in Taguig. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click subscribe if you like this video. See you in our next grave tour of the famous episodes.